um, your grandfather and father are um, here because they actually, you know, they realised that what they what everyone else was terming courage, is is was actually some emotional injuries that they had, um, and it wasn't real courage. Um, so that you know, their their feelings are now quite different about what is courageous and what isn't courageous. Um, but uh, but they're connecting with you because they realise that it's a multi generational injury that's been passed down through the generations in your family to you. So they're recognising that you do have that emotional injury too. Of um, and it's also preventing sometimes your own connection with your own emotions. Yeah. Like this feeling that I've got to be courageous. Yeah. To you almost means I've got to not cry. Yeah. I've got to not be weak, I've got to not That's be right. powerful. You know, I've got to be powerful, sorry, not, not powerless. Yeah. Um, and what they, you know, what they're feeling is that, you know, it would be better if you see courage as being emotional is courageous. Being, being emotional, in fact, is the most courageous thing you're going to need to do. And they've come to realise that in their own progression in the spirit world. So when, when they're facing the war in that physical situation, what should have they been praying to, basically? Um, prayers, prayers in wars are very often not heard by God. And the reason why is they're not in harmony with love most of the time. So if you're praying, you know, to have an opportunity to kill your brother, you remember that all of us are brothers. If, you have a, if you're praying for an opportunity to kill your brother, obviously God's not going to answer that prayer um, in, 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 a personal, in a personal way. Obviously your desire is probably at some point going to have an opportunity to be fulfilled because of the law of attraction. But uh, the, pe people in wars have passed in very poor conditions generally and, and they've had a lot of emotions to work through as a result of that, as have your, parent, as have your father and grandfather. Um, obviously... The whole viewpoint of mankind today is very distorted when it comes to what is, what God actually approves of and doesn't approve of. Your father and grandfather were both told that actually they were, run, they were waging a righteous war. Once they got to the places where they were waging their war, they realised there was nothing righteous in it whatsoever. And, uh, but now they felt like they just had to do it, you know. And, uh, and so they've had quite a lot of really hard emotions to work through as a result of that. Um, and that, and that's, that's a sad legacy of war. Um, and generationally that gets passed down to us too. Many of you who have had parents who have been in a war will find that you also have some really strong emotions about you know, how disconnected these people, and particularly the men, when they came back from war, were towards you. And many of the men were so injured emotionally during warfare that they could no longer connect even with their family anymore. And, uh, and this is what you know, we now term what post-traumatic stress syndrome and a lot of those kind of things, syndromes. In reality, it's because of the, the damage that's done to our own soul is so great during those things that we do that we shut ourselves down on so many levels that we can't reopen ourselves without feeling the distress of all the things we've done. And so many of the men in that state never open themselves again until they pass into the spirit world.